Halo teman-teman semuanya kembali lagi bareng gue JK di channel bukan konten kreator kali ini kita bakal coba game baru guys ya yang nama gamenya ini Planet Zoo dan di sini teman-teman uh, selalu di semua jangan lupa di subscribe dulu di like di komen dan di share sebaik baiknya ke teman-temannya ya di sini gue pengen nyoba lagi main carrier mode dulu ya di sini carrier mode sebenarnya udah main banyak dua tamatin sini ya cuma di sini gue pengen coba mulai dari awal aja ya, teman-teman nih dari Goodwin Falls jadi teman-teman kita bakal main bareng Planet Zoo sampai skenario nya kita jajal semua hari ini ya jadi jangan lupa di subscribe like comment dan share sebanyak-banyaknya dan kita lanjut ke videonya stay tune ya guys tonton sampai Oke okay, teman-teman sahabat guys semuanya langsung aja kita main nih di Goodwin Zoo berarti ini adalah kebun binatang yang namanya Goodwin ya ini bukan kebun binatang yang ada di Medan ya guys ya ini bukan kebun binatang yang ada di Medan yang semua singa-singanya uh, mati jadi kita bakal memanusia menghewanisasikan hewan ya memanusiakan hewan anjay siapa hewan di hewan itu juga makhluk hidup guys nggak boleh kita um, sembarangan rawat ya apalagi di kebun binatang di Medan waduh kebun binatang di Medan tuh singa-singanya pada mati guys macam-macamnya pada mati guys sudah diberita guys jadi kita tunggu aja loadingnya ya Nah, ini adalah kebun binatang kita, guys. Ah, heyo at Hematu. Iya, dan kita bertemu oh, dengan bapak-bapak oh, yang namanya Goodwin. Ya. I have a habit of slipping back into the Planko language. Kebun binatangnya gede juga, cuy. Good to finally meet you in Ada kolam renang di tengahnya. Ya. Terus ada potong pakai The only person who calls me Bernard is my wife. And even then, only when I've tracked elephant dung into the carpets. Ini ya. Untuk apa ini musang ya? Musang. I own several zoos, but I always like to show people the ropes here in my home. Oh, ini ada beruang guys. This is the first zoo I ever opened. Binatang binatang apa yang kaya raya? Beruang. Ya, thanks to a lion breeding program, we were the ada singa dan anak singa singa anak singa itu kalau dalam bahasa Inggris itu kalau singa itu kan lion kalau anaknya singa itu namanya kiu. Our old Poor devil kept sneezing his dentures into the lion habitat. So it's up to you to finish everything off. Ada gajah, ada gajah. Don't worry though. I'm not completely throwing you into the deep end. My head keeper, Nancy Jones, will be lending a helping hand. Oh, she's a hard worker, and she expects you to be too. But I'm sure you'll get along like a house on fire. Even better. One that isn't on fire. Let's shout it that way. Shout it that way. Janganlah jadi membuat kebun binatang seperti itu ya. Nah ini ada ibu-ibu pengurus kebun binatang ya. Wih ada kereta aja, kereta kereta. Ini ada kereta kereta guys. Wih keren banget aja, ada kereta kereta. ada yang kereta ini para penumpang itu bisa mengelilingi kebun binatang tanpa harus berjalan kaki ya atau capek ya ayo kereta pak kereta jalan lagi pak kereta tut 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 naik kereta kami tut 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 iya pak pak tuh ini kita mau kemana oh jadi dia bisa langsung melihat ini guys melihat kebun binatangnya kayak sangat jadi kasih pakai kaca tuh biar kayaknya sembari lewat sembari melihat 
ya. Oke okay, guys, langsung aja kita coba ke misi yang pertama. Kita di sini disuruh ekspor di zoo, loket di grizzly bear habitat ini ya. Ini adalah habitat dari ini ya, Zekeri. Zekeri. Ini sih beruang grizzly loket di west african lion habitat african lion habitat ini ya habitatnya singa afrika ada singa afrika mana singanya cuy ok, when you're ready, let's pop over to the other side of the zoo and take a look at the lions I've marked their location for you to find. Singanya kagak ada cuy. Panthera Leo Leo. All the West oh, African lion to you and me. Yo, oh, the lions are the most singanya. social of the big cats. And there can be as many as 40 lions in a pride. Ya, Although prides of that size are pretty rare. As Bernie would say, those lions are awesome. Which is precisely why I handle the training instead these days. Anyway, how about we get started on those objectives? Nah, sini ada habitat yang besar. Come on, let's head over to an empty habitat and see what we need to do. Come on, let's head over to an empty habitat and see what we need to do. Come on, let's head over to an empty habitat and see what we need to do. Come on, let's head over to an empty habitat and see what we need to do. Come on, let's head over to an empty habitat and see what we need to do. Come on, let's head over to an empty habitat and see what we need to do. Come on, let's head over to an empty habitat and see what we need to do. Come on, let's head over to an empty habitat and see what we need to do. Come on, let's head over to an empty habitat and see what we need to do. Come on, let's head over to an empty habitat and see Two yeah, somethings, warthogs. <laughs> so I'd like you to adopt a pair of them. To adopt animals, we need to open Ternyata, the animal. Ternyata, um, habitat yang kosong ini pengen kita isiin dengan yang namanya babi hutan ini. Oke, okay, kita coba adopt. Terus ini juga ya. When you adopt an animal, it's automatically placed in the trade center where they're held until you're ready to move them into their habitat. Which, as it happens, you are. So, how about you move them into their new home? Okay, kita taro di sini ya. Si animalnya. Kita taro di sini. When you ask for an animal to be moved into a habitat, your caretakers will go to the trade center. Collect your animal and deliver them to your selected habitat. I've marked the trade center's location, so let's go and watch the caretakers in action. Di mana? Nah, jadi si ini ya babi hutan ini akan dikirim ke sini ya, guys ya. Well, as you can see, those caretakers don't hang about. They'll move those animals to their destination as fast as possible. Of course, normally we'd have to place the animals into quarantine before moving them into a habitat. But I am sure by a person of good standing that these are the ones who are the very rudest of hell. Right, let's get the warthog's habitat finished up so we can keep them nice and happy. Let's get the warthog's habitat finished up so we can keep them nice and happy. Let's get the warthog's habitat finished up so we can keep them nice and happy. Let's get the warthog's habitat finished up so we can keep them nice and happy. Let's get the warthog's habitat finished up so we can keep them nice and happy. Let's get the warthog's habitat finished up so we can keep them nice and happy. Let's get the warthog's habitat finished up so we can keep them nice and happy. Let's get the warthog's habitat finished up so we can keep them nice and happy. Let's get the warthog's habitat finished up so we can keep them nice and happy. Let's get the warthog's habitat finished up so we can keep them nice and happy. Let's get the warthog's habitat finished up so we can keep them nice and happy. Let's get the warthog's habitat finished up so we can keep them nice Luckily, if you select an animal, you'll bring up the animal welfare information panel, which we saw earlier, where you can see how they. Kita bakal bikin habitatnya ya dengan kita menaruh feeding station. Taruh mana ya tempat makanannya si babi hutannya? Taruh tengah-tengah aja ya sih di sini. Oke, kemudian kita taruh air minumnya. Animals also require stimulation to keep them happy. Let's add a lovely mud bath for the warthogs to roll around in. That bath will count towards their enrichment welfare, specifically their toy enrichment welfare. Ini adalah lumpur-lumpur kesukaannya bagi hutan ya, untuk mandi dia. Mandinya malah mengotori diri. Nice work. You've got a knack for this, I see. Now. Our contractor had to leave in a hurry, so this place is in a fearless state. Unfinished thingamajigs and wotsits all over the shop. But the first thing we need to finish is the ostrich habitat. It's over near the hippos. Ayo bang, kamu bawain babi hutan saya ke tempat ini ya, karena di sini udah kita kasih makanan, minuman, sama tempat untuk bermain lumpur. Ini babi hutannya. Satu pasang ya guys ya. Jadi dia sama istrinya. Nah istrinya mana? Mana satu lagi cuy? Masih dia sendirian doang. 
Wah dia masih mencari istrinya guys tuh tuh tuh, tuh istrinya tuh. Nah, ini suaminya kali ya. Ini ini cewek cuy. Ini istrinya yang ono suaminya. Nah ini suaminya baru datang. Oke dia langsung bilang guling guys sini ya. Wah ternyata istrinya langsung ini ya. Suaminya langsung nyamperin istrinya guys apa dia udah kawin apa belum nih kayaknya belum kawin guys baru sepedi kafe kali ya oke kita lanjut aja ke area sini area oh, yang before we actually start building our ostrich habitat let's pause the game sini ada area Just apa nih click the pause button in the bottom right corner oke ah that's more like oh, it oh sini habitatnya break. belum jadi guys sometimes it's a good idea to pause the game whilst you're doing something which requires your concentration because it'll stop the zoo spinning out of control while you're looking the other way let's keep the game paused while we get this ostrich habitat built okay job number one here is to add a house nah, kita taruh aja pagarnya ya biar dia menjadi lengkap guys kita taruh sini dulu ya uh, pintu untuk masuk ke pagarnya Right. Let's Taruh complete situ, the perimeter barrier so we can adopt us some ostriches. I've marked out an ya. area for you to use, so I'd like you to finish off the perimeter using the brick barrier. Oh, ini pagar versi ini. Versi lurus. Kita bengkokin gimana ya? Ini apa? Angels deck. Hex snap play, hex moon. Oh ini nih, ini bisa di ini di versi lurus. Ini versi melengkung. Oke, kita jadiin versi lurus lagi ya. Set. Aduh. Good work. Remember, before you can place animals in any habitat, it has to have a full loop of connected barrier. Now you probably noticed that guests can't actually see into this habitat at the moment, at least not without a step ladder. But seeing as they're banned, I'd like to select a piece of barrier and swap out the brick for a glass barrier, so the guests can see it. Kita bakal isi dengan bagian tertentunya dengan kaca ya. Kita bakal isi bagian yang mana ya? Dengan kaca ya. Yang ini aja ya. Dengan kaca ya. Okay. Enter. I click a section of barrier. There we go. Adding in more windows gives guests even more opportunities to see the animals in a habitat. It's always best to make sure the guests can get a good view into a habitat from the path they're walking on, because it makes them happy, and because this would be a pretty terrible zoo if they couldn't. The last thing we need to do is to add a donation box. You see, when guests enjoy the view of an animal, they make a donation. Just make sure you put them in easy-to-reach places like near a viewing point. Donation boxes are one of the main sources of income for the zoo, so make sure you remember them. Nah, ini buat orang-orangnya. Now, before we adopt our ostriches, you should click the play button. After all, if the game's paused, then so are our caretakers, which will make it a bit tricky for them to deliver the ostriches, eh? Tapi di sini udah ada ininya, pak. Udah ada hewannya. As well as pausing the game, you can speed the game up by clicking on the fast forward button. It will run everything at two times or five times faster. It can be useful, especially if you're waiting for money to accumulate or for animals to be delivered to your habitat. Personally, I use it when I'm waiting for a brew to finish. Alright, you've finished the habitat, so it's high time we adopted those ostriches, don't you think? Let's get four of them in here. Yang tinggi itu loh. Kita disuruh adopsi burung ostrich ya. Mana nih burungnya? Okay, ini nih burung yang tinggi ini nih. Burung apa sih namanya? Burung unta. Kita adopt aja empat. Dan kita taruh di sini ya satu. Dua. Tiga. Satu lagi. 
Ah. While we wait for them to be collected by the caretakers and brought to the habitat, you should get it ready for them. Add a suitable ah. feeding station, water Sebelum station, si and an appropriate food enrichment item. Datang lagi, it's often kita best to place things like enrichments and feeding stations near to the habitat perimeter, so guests can get a really good view of the animals. Tempat makan, tempat minum, dan tempat bermain seperti tadi ya guys ya. Kita taruh di mana ya? Biar orang-orang bisa lihat tuh di sini kali ya. Kita taruh makan, tempat minum, sama slow feeder. Main terus ini Oke okay, deh, selesai untuk bintang sinarnya. Really Mana tuh si ini ya? They can actually run at 43 miles per hour? Si burung mentanya, aku pengen lihat burung mentanya. Nah ini nih guys, burung mentanya tuh pada lari orang-orang. Akhirnya burung unta kita datang guys. Kita gede banget. So they should be placed near si to the Chipo, habitats to make sure the keepers don't waste their time walking when they should be looking after the animals. Oh, siapa lagi? Banyak sih. Empat tadi kita beli burung tante. Ah, jalan, 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 jalan. Kibar, kibar, kibar. Ini adalah Chipo. Chipo sedang mencari makan, guys. Di sini, di dalam sini ini adalah cewek. Ini cowok, ini cewek, ini cowok. Eh cewek, gila cuy. Ini cowok sendiri dia nih si Ajis. Burung unta yang ini namanya Ajis, dia cowok sendiri. Sedangkan burung unta yang lainnya itu ini, oh, pancing larinya kecepat. Cepen, abet, sama mana satu lagi? Udah langsung hilang aja di mes. Ipo, Abib, sama Ayu itu cewek semua ya. Jadi si cowok ini yang ada sayapnya putih sendiri ya karena dia cowok. Jadi ini punya tiga istri guys. Ada ya, tiga cewek dia guys. Dikerumungin cewek dia guys. Mantep banget nih si Ayes punya tiga cewek. Oh dia lagi duduk. Kita lanjut aja kali ya guys ya misinya ya lanjut ke build keeper hut jadi supaya ada yang ngurusi para burung unta kita di sini kita bakal bikin tempat penjaganya ya oke yang ini you'll need to rotate the keeper hut to get it to connect up to the path okay. Turutet di keeper hat down. Oh, ini nih kita kita pasang yang namanya tempat untuk para pekerja kita ngopi-ngopi ya untuk jagain si ini nih kebun binatang kita. Oke, okay, apa sih? This keeper hat only has space nah, for one keeper, ngopi -ngopi, but the larger keeper hats can have multiple keepers to prepare food at the same time. Oh, but bear in mind ya. that keeper hats and other staff facilities shouldn't be placed near to areas where there are lots of guests. Guests don't like seeing facility buildings and it can affect their happiness. Negatively. <laughs> in case that wasn't clear. Nah, ya, banyak ngomong nih. Oke, kita taruh dengan yang namanya. Iya. Now, the reason everything has gone blue is because you're using the power heat map. This map allows you to see what is and what isn't powered in your zoo. So, once you've placed your transformer, you can click in the bottom left to turn the heat map off. Lovely work. Now the keepers can start using the hut to prepare food, and thanks to where you've put it, they won't need to walk very far to deliver it to the ostriches and hippos. Let's get on to your next objective then. Bengal tigers. 
Nah ini jadi si patinya udah teralir alat ekstrik ya guys ya Jadi pekerjanya bisa ini Bisa mengurus binatang binatang kita Kita lanjut ke sini Terlihat di sini ada Ini ya ada habitat baru Dan konkret dan gelas saya expect So go ahead and build it Just make sure that the habitat includes that big hole we dug Dan disini sepertinya kita bakal misi Dengan yang namanya Bengal Tiger Yaitu Macan Bengal Atau Bengal Anjar Taruh dimana nih habitat kit Terus ini ya kali ya Taruh belakang Lihat habitat di mana nih habitat kit kita taruh orang belum ada ini ya ya nah sini ya kali ya guys ya set jadi kita langsung bikinin dengan minyan agarnya ya guys agar supaya sengaja kagak kabur guys set 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 Selesai nih pagar supaya singanya kada kabur So we should probably make sure those tigers can't jump out of their habitat Don't you think? Bundar itu 3,7 meter The way we'll do it is by changing the height of the habitat's barrier Okay then, you should start by double clicking the habitat barrier Which will take you into barrier editing mode Nah di sini kata si ibu-ibunya Now highlight the entire perimeter of the habitat You can do that by clicking and dragging the barrier selection tool untuk meninggikan pagernya guys supaya singanya karena di sini kita mau taruh singa ya jadi kita tinggiin pagernya supaya singanya itu tidak loncat dan kabur dari pagar ini disuruh tinggi sana 3,7 meter tidak tinggi banget hanya berarti singa bengal ini tinggi loncatnya lumayan ini ya lumayan gede ya especially as these tigers aren't exactly eating instant noodles for lunch Nah di sini kita bakal bikinin barrier ini menjadi salah satunya pakai glass ya. Glassnya di sekitar sini aja nih. Kita jadiin glass ya. Gelasnya di mana? Oh, sini aja nih, donation box. Okay, that's the habitat boundary complete. The habitat gate's in place, and most importantly, the tigers won't be able to jump out of it anymore. I think it's time we adopted those tigers. Melihatnya nih, terang lihat, melihatnya ya. Sumpah, yang ini gimana? Dibikin jadi ini. Lanjut dulu deh, animal trading kita disuruh beli yang namanya bengal tiger oke okay, aduk aduk ini harimau india kali ya kalau sini cewek sama cowok Whilst our trusty caretakers collect and deliver the tigers let's take a look at preparing the habitat for their arrival We'll start with the basics. Add a suitable feeding station for them. Seperti biasa, kita kasih makanan dan minuman dan lain sebagainya dulu ya di habitatnya. Masalahnya ini, gimana orang-orang bisa lihat nih kalau nggak ada ini ya tembok kaca. Jadi dah, ter kita bikin tembok kaca. 
Nah, ini adalah makanannya. Kita taruh sini. Wah, di sini kita disuruh bikin air ya. Oke, okay, sini kita bakal bikin air. Water. dan kita beliin mereka yang namanya ini juga ya pumpkin rubbing pad sini aja nih rubbing pad buset Okay. Sama frozen food pumpkin. Awesome. Okay, it's really starting to take shape. Now, the tigers will need a shelter in nah, their habitat si so they can hide from the guests. Yang namanya tempat bernaung ya, guys. Jadi sini kita bakal bikin rumahnya macan, tempat bernaungnya macan. You can either build one from various suitable bits. Tempat bernaungnya macan itu kita taruh di mana ya? Yang enak ya? Ya, ya kali ya. Sip. Eh, iya betul ya. Tempat bernaungnya macan. Lagi berat ya? Kurangkah bernaungnya macan? your attention that the tigers look a bit miffed that's because they aren't too keen on the type of terrain in their habitat select a tiger and bring up its information panel rightio click on the terrain tab that way you can view the terrain information and see how they feel about the different types of terrain that'll tell you what the tigers need more of or less of in this habitat sisinya ini sukanya okay, tanah Open yang modelnya seperti apa select painting and give them some more soil yes that should nah, help with the habitat part of their welfare soil yang lebih ini ya soil like aja nih kita kasih biar dia bisa senang soalnya harus banyak nih kayaknya di tanah ini juga ya terkasihnya guys sip soalnya udah terus grass long nah kita tumbuhin dengan yang namanya ini ya rumput-rumput panjang panjang udah kelebihan cuy kita butuhnya rumput pendek sama soya ada keras longnya gimana cuy soalnya kita banyakin aja deh Right then. Nah, ini juga butuh tumbuhan yang sesuai ya. The tigers will also want a certain amount of their habitat to be covered by those plants. To find out which plants to use and how many, select a tiger and go to the environment tab. 
Now, as you can see, some of the plants can find all the plants you need in the nature section, and you can use the filters to only show the types of plants you want to see. In this case, that's plants from the rainforest or temperate biomes. Gimana nih cara ngeliatnya nih? Kita tunggu tungguin aja nih semua semua ini ya. ya. Mana caranya? Nih? Oh di sini nih kita filter pakai filter tiger. Ah, ada cuy. Gimana sih caranya? Filter. Biome, kontena, properti, forage type. Jadi di sini si macannya itu suka yang tumbuhan yang ada di tropika, temperate sama grassland di sini kita bakal uh, tanemin sesuai dengan ya yeah, sesuai dengan yang dia suka nih di tropika lama temperate pertama dia suka banana plant kita taruh mana ya ini aja kali ya guys ya nah ini jadi sengaja nih kita taruh di sini pohon-pohon oh, pisang biar si ini ya singa-singanya merasa aman ya di sekitar pohon pisang ada berapa nih lanjut buffalo grass dry buffalo grass dry buffalo grass dry North America, North America, dia dari North America, kontinen North America, ah di cuy, kalau kasta, ini harus sampai 90 persen ya. Oh, jadi kita harus ini nih harus disesuaikan dengan kontinen yang sama tempat sama tokyo ya dengan si ininya si singanya cuy nah ini kita taruh sini ya taruh sini nah, lagi ya nah ini nih kita taruh sini ya biar si singanya ini suka dengan tumbuhan yang kita taruh belum kontinennya harus Asia guys nah ini udah banyak banget nih gue taruh ini udah 86% dikit lagi palm tree terus ini ya kali ya oke okay, kita remove Selesai juga kita. They say the good fences make good neighbors. I guess that's doubly true when one of the neighbors is a Bengal tiger. Still, jadi kita sudah selesai untuk membangun. Eh iya ini yang barunya belum selesai. Jadi ini cuy, jadi ini ya jadi. Nah nanti kita lanjutin di episode selanjutnya untuk yang goldnya ya. Ya. Tapi teman-teman jangan lupa di subscribe, like, comment, dan share sebanyak banyaknya. Ini tumbuhan tumbuhannya udah banyak buat. Ini yang kurang ini aja nih. Barrier untuk kacanya ya. Jadi nggak ada yang bisa nonton dengan kita ya. Sampai ketemu di episode selanjutnya. Jangan lupa subscribe, like, comment, dan share sebanyak Ya guys, thank you. See you in the next episode. Ya, istilahnya lagi main. Ini ya, main pau-pauan.